Ciao belli, the restoration is complete, so it's time to do a review of this 2002 Honda CBR 954RR. But enough with the chit chat, let's get on it. When this bike came out in 2002, this was pretty much the pinnacle of the leader bike category. Now, 20 years have gone by, but this bike is still one of the top contender when it comes to drivability, when it comes to speed, and when it comes to ease of use, either slowly or fast. But let's see what $10,000 used to get you in 2002. So we have fully adjustable suspensions, front and back, but there is no steering damper. We get 330 millimeters double disc up front with Nissin calipers and a single disc in the back. Stopping power is still really, really good, although you do not have ABS. So let's recap what kind of electronic package you get with this bike. Well, no ABS, no traction control, no riding modes, no engine braking, and that's about it. So you better know what you're doing if you're riding this thing fast, because there is no electronics to save you in case you're a little twitchy with your wrist. Behind this fairing, there is a 954cc engine in line 4, which at the time used to give you about 150 horses. Today, not quite sure. One thing I'm sure of is when it came out, the bike uh, was good for about 120 miles before you got the uh, low fuel light and then after that probably another 30 35. now i tested it on multiple gas tanks i guess the low fuel light actually works uh, now we just have to see how many miles before i go from uh, the light coming on to running out of fuel i'm gonna trust uh, Honda's engineer's good judgment to give me at least 10 miles. And I'm still getting 122 miles before the light comes on. And after that, last time uh, I made it 30, 32 extra miles without having to push the bike to a gas station. We're 25 miles into the low fuel light. Still, I'm not at a gas station. <laughs> Starting to get worried so it depends what you compare this bike to you compare it to my tuono when it comes to mile per gallon this is a winner you compare it to the brand new cbr well they're doing much better the one thing you used to get back in the day that you don't anymore it's a huge compartment under the rear seat literally huge the riding position is super comfortable compared to the modern super bikes. The ergonomics are natural for this type of bike. I'm not stretching forward, I'm not down here. The clip-ons are raised up and are not down here to put extra unwanted weight on the wrist and on the back. When it comes to the bend, on your on your knee not bad at all for this type of bike obviously and with the seat height of 32 inches and a 400 pound weight it's pretty manageable for the average guy even in flip-flops but let's go ride it and see how it actually feels like let's start with uh, how does this bike ride in traffic well Compared to the modern uh, super bikes, this is super comfortable. 
very usable once upon a time uh, motorcycle manufacturer used try to make their super bike somewhat usable for a daily or a day-to-day -day use not anymore the modern bikes are uh, track weapons uh, and uh, the rideability and the enjoyment in day-to-day uh, -day use kind of suffers for it suspensions are still super bike like so it's not all nice and soft and plush but that's expected this is still kind of a race bike um, when it comes to the clutch pull it's uh, it's fairly soft like it's not super hard so not bad not bad at all considering this is a, a 21 year old bike it, it feels very light although this is uh, compared to modern standards uh, a long a long bike so and when it comes to power let's remember 954 it's pretty much a 1000 cc motorcycle so So there is plenty to get in trouble uh, even if it's not one of those new 1200 1300 cc super hyper sport uh, out there As I said, raw power, my god, this bike. It, it doesn't have the same on paper power that the new modern bike have. But I don't know how to explain it, man. It's, it's, it's different. I want to give you guys a good look of it on the go. This is what the bike looks like to you as you ride it. Always been a big fan of uh, the analog uh, rev counter. What about you? What do you like? You like them uh, digital or you like them uh, analog uh, better? There are two things I would have liked to see on this bike. And he is uh, a gear, the gear number somewhere on the display, and uh, a fuel gauge. But uh, back then, uh, those weren't really a thing for uh, super bikes. So it is what it is. See what I'm, what I mean about the suspensions. Uh, this road is in no way. Uh, smooth but still the suspensions do a, a pretty good job yeah I understand I clean them replace the oil and new seals but I didn't change the valve in it they're still they're still valved as they used to be and mind you right now they are adjusted with uh, with the factory settings it's zeroed out to to the way it came out of the factory i haven't adjusted for my weight because well because i'm gonna sell it so no point let's give a neutral starting point for the new owner to do his uh, uh, suspension adjustments uh, this is so good I replaced those uh, brake lines with uh, steel braided and from nothing to full brake is this much that's it man those steel braided makes such a huge difference brake test ready <laughs> no ABS 
so when you actually brake hard everything slides <laughs> all right uh, back uh, to the garage to finish this the review for this fantastic bike I'm loving it I should keep it So in the end this bike is an absolute bargain it's fast it's comfortable you can actually use it daily with not too many problems huge trunk in the back and lots and lots of raw power for tons and tons of fun if you're looking for a sport bike that has a pretty much all class heritage goes like the wind and it makes you feel alive get one of those even though you might need to know how to ride a motorcycle let's put it this way a good rider on this bike can keep up if not take a normal rider on one of those thirty thousand dollars panigale r so this is it the bike is going to go to a new owner, possibly the old owner. He saw the bike, saw what I've done to it, and wants it back. So I might sell it to him back at a discount, but I loved it. I really loved it. If I had more room in the garage, this bike would stay here and not go anywhere. Thank you very much to my patrons. None of this would be possible without you guys. And as always, die tutti. And I'll see you next time.